And we've seen a lot of MT Cat tonight. Vance, what do you kind of expect in this matchup? Do you think that MT Cat's going to need to be the aggressor? Or do you think that uh, using the projectiles, um, they'll be able to sit back? I'll be real with you. I don't even know how to handle the Steve matchup. Like, <laughs> straight up. In my thought process, you have to be the most passive aggressive person ever but you also have to really have a full understanding of steve's toolkit if you do not have an understanding of that toolkit that'll be ggs <laughs> you, you see um, Cat kind of pressing that knowledge trying to figure out at what point uh jake just throwing pickaxes against shield that empty cat can get out but right now the uh, victim of that axe combo now down back throw here right like one thing that you can do to avoid getting shield poked by up tilt because it such, has such a high hitbox is you can always angle your shield. I do that as a link main, but as a whole, like you need to be able to be careful. Right. Um, and that's what I just tell people. Like, you, there's a lot that you need to understand not only as a player but in the matchup. And if you don't, that's GG's. And I think me and Mighty Man we had this conversation. Like, there's these little nuances in this game that you have to make sure you have a full understanding of so that you do not fall to them. You know, like that, like understanding TNT on the left side of the stage and the setup oh. under like that was hard because that's a command grab. Yeah. So like, it, yeah, see, you have time to read TNT that uh, that command grab was like a tweet just being dropped out of nowhere on you, man. Like, oh, man. <laughs> but right yeah. now, empty cat trying to get back into this. But uh, Jake, ooh, that might have been a little fortunate there having the act break. That's one of the things that does become just a little bit of a, you know, boondoddle for uh, Steve mains or when the weapons break and your opponent's able to catch you before you're able to uh, get the crafting table right, right now. Right. And that keeping, was keeping Jake up there with that good juggle of the up airs. Palutena's up air might be a contender for one of the best aerials in the game. Yeah, I I argue that there's quite a few up airs that like come very, very close, but Palutena's up air is just really good. I think I think for sure, it's, if it's not the best it's within the top five range of one of the best up airs, for sure. Um, the one Mind thing fire. that you have to like, man, like I could talk about how like Steve is moving and how he's going, but the, the, the one thing I understand about Steve as a whole is like, you have to understand if you try to juggle him, there will be Anvil. If you don't juggle him, he'll stall himself. If you try to go too aggressive, he has minecart. If he's too far from the stage, he has minecart. If he's at the ledge, he will minecart. If he's trying to come back, he will elytra. Like there are all these nuances to Steve as a character that like you have to really understand those options and even if you do understand in that thought process there's like a lot to evaluate like you can see that he takes minecart if you jump away from minecart guess what jake can hit you out of minecart congrats like there's a lot of things yeah. that it's like you have to really be that passive aggressive player and you have to be able to put pedal to the metal but also be able to stop the brakes you see empty cats trying to mix in the counter oh man and again the very short window in between Palutena's jump and an active hitbox, Jake was able to just hit the bullseye with yet another uh, fast charging minecart to take game one. That was really closely contested between those two. Um, and Empty Cat just was not able to win enough of the cart interactions to um, you know, ultimately pull ahead in game one. But let's see what happens in game number two. And that's the thing too. It's like, I'm glad you're saying like the cart interactions because like those are like the major thing about the matchup there. It's yeah. like <laughs> you like the, the cart. Well, I mean, it's like it's like, the one character I think that does pretty interesting with cart is like what uh, Game and Watch because that character is anti-meta. So like yeah. so that's what I kind of tell people. Like it, it's crazy. There's just so much you have to account for. And even if you do have the reflector against Palutena, like Steve can jump out of the cart and punish you for it. Like these are the things you have to understand. Your opponent has the uh, time to have the adaptability. I'm not saying Steve is like the end all be all best character in the game, but there's a lot of tools and options that you have to really consider that your opponent has time for. And your opponent has to play as well as players like Jake and Yanni have been doing. Absolutely. And one of the things that's really become clear, especially on the first stock, is that Jake is so good at punishing bad landing when you're Steve. Like, yeah. And MTK can win an interaction by landing and then just completely get, um, you know, the light pulled out from under him like he did right there at the end of the first stock. It's just brutal. 
There's the, oh. there's the reflector coming through, and MD Cat finding a window there for the big F smash punish. You love to see it. Yeah, and the reason why you love to see it there, and that's such a punish there on not only just Steve, but it's more of a strong punish there on Jake. We've seen Jake use that spot dodge F smash several times in neutral, just like, all right, cool, let me just read this option and get a punish for it. And if you're just holding your smash attack, if you're going for a full jab, those are great ways to stop your opponent from just spot dodging. I do love how calm and collected Steve is, even when the mine car gets blasted out from under him. Just being able to be like, jump out at fair, get the spike right there a little while ago. I love it. Big back air here. Steve's able to just resume mining and essentially pick back up where he left off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, let's see if Empty Cat can get this ledge trap. But nope, Steve, I mean, uh, Jake is able to escape to mid stage. Right now is an interesting situation. He's lost one of the weapons, but he isn't going right back to the minecrafting table. Instead, relying on the minecart to take full stage control. I love how Hamilio said he has D do it yourself Arsene. That's a great way to describe <laughs> Steve as a nutshell. Literally, he does have DIY Arsene. <laughs> I will steal that. Thank you, Hamilio. I will shout you out for it because that's great. Oh. Big surviving the big explosive flame and patiently waiting at ledge. MT Cat trying to figure out some way to get back into this one, barely surviving that. Uh oh, here comes the down smash of TNT. Ooh, what a oh. great way to, yeah, that's good. You get the ledge invincibility and you get to punish him for being on there. What a great counterplay to it. Honestly, oh, like when I look at this matchup, I'm not the one holding the sticks here. It's MT Cat. But I feel like MT Cat is more so taking his W's against Jake as a player rather than Steve as a character. What a great. Explosive flame to up air right here, and so far, empty cat looking to slowly try to bring things back as much as he can. The Jake is able to basically hold him back oh, at range. Oh, right now. You're good, you're good, you're good, yeah, you're good, you're good. Oh. Try to end it there in style with a footstool, but still, Jake, unflappable, back to the center stage, gets the down throw to up, uh, the up throw, and has to do it. Look at that standing black square of a character, like just. <laughs> it doesn't blink its eyes. It's soulless. It just stares into <laughs> the abyss like Jesus. <laughs> but in a sense, it reflects the player behind the sticks. You know, Jake was, you know, he's not faced by it. Deal. No, not faced at all. Able to fish for, basically fish for, you know, a grab. Um, uh, you know, uh, uh, stop taking grab there at the end without being too desperate looking for it. He got it right when he needed it. I agree with just the brick too. What if Steve Stone should have just been a T pose? Like, I know that's a meme, and I know that everybody and their mother would love to see that as a meme, but, like, I feel like this character could just T-pose as a taunt, and I feel like it'd be natural for the character, because... I, I actually don't really disagree with going back to town in this case. I think Paolo actually gets a lot of benefit. Um, off town is also probably not really a bad Palatine stage in this game. No, no, no. But I also kind of feel like Empty Cat needs to be playing the matchup more rather than the player. Look at this. Well, see, I'm on the opposite side, bro, and this is mostly because I do not know the matchup. I I do not know like in the, the general consensus of like how Steve is as a character. Like I said, it's Empty Cat on the sticks. I feel like Empty Cat has been doing a better job punishing Jake as a player than punishing Steve as a character. Because look at that situation. You want to punish Steve for going for cart. Guess what, though? Cart's a command grab. You try to shield cart. Cart is a command grab. The times that he's punished Jake, it's because Jake will go for the spot dodge forward smash. That's punishing the player. And I feel like that's where MT Cat is getting these Ws. You punish Ooh. Jake for that grab, you get that back yeah. here, you get that W. And I feel like that's what MT Cat is having a better time doing. Now you make a great point, man. Especially punishing that very awkward Ooh. grab at ledge. But Jake timing the back air perfectly to coincide with MT Cat. Uh, trying to teleport recovery high, which is also just a player read. <laughs> yeah. If like I just tell people, if a character is perfect, I'm not saying Steve is perfect, but if a character is perfect, that by that law in theory, you can punish the player because the player will always be imperfect. There's no such thing as the perfect player. Right now, Jake is starting to take firm control of this game. That, that last punish sequence that was very quintessential, Steve. Ah, oh, like, I like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you want to punish Steve for the Steve option. The problem is, like, that option is so good. You mash too late, you get Ran spiked. You... <laughs> that was funny. 
Oh no, the whiff grab punish. And with no he hit this action, man anything, with the fist. I oh, know we're dead. I'm upset. <laughs> Jake said, I don't need no stinking pickaxe. I'll do it with my fist. Jesus, I'll do it. Like, he literally put on Thanos' gauntlet and said, I'll do it myself.